Hello students, in my last video I have explained sums of 4F and today I am going to start sums of 4G and here sums are basically word problems which are based on quadratic equation. Number 1 of 4G, the sum of a number and its square is 63 by 4, find the number. As in the question it is given, sum of a number and its square is 63 by 4, we can consider let the number be x. So x plus x square will be 63 by 4 because in the question it is given sum of a number and its square so if one number is x then its square will be x square sum of these two will be 63 by 4 now if I cross multiply 4 into x 4x 4 into x square 4x square equals to 63 now 4x square plus 4x this 63, if we shift in the other side, it will become minus 63. So we got 4x square plus 4x minus 63 equals to 0. So we got one quadratic equation. Now if you want, you can use quadratic formula where this will be A, this is B and this is C. Or you can go for middle term factorization. Here I am solving by middle term factorization, but it's up to you. If you want, you can use quadratic formula also. In exercise 4c, I have explained how to do this middle term factorization. We have to first multiply coefficient of x square with a constant term. Here it is 4, here it is minus 63. If we multiply, then it will be minus 252. Since this is negative, we need two numbers whose difference should be this middle number, that is 4. Now, 252 if we factorize, first it can be written as 2 into 126. Now 126 can be written as 2 into 63, this 63 can be written as 3 into 21 and 21 can be written as 3 into 7. Now if you group like this, 3 3 is a 9, 9 2 is a 18 and 7 2 is a 14, then 18 minus 14 will be 4, clear? 3 3 is a 9, 9 2 is a 18, from these 3 we got 18, 7 2 is a 14, so 18 minus 14 will be 4, so it will be 4x square plus instead of 4x we can write 18 minus 14x minus 63 equals to 0 so 4x square plus 18 into x 18x plus minus minus 14x minus 63 equals to 0 from first two I can take twice x common so we are left with twice x plus 9 just check 2x into 2x 4x squared twice x into 9 it will be 18x from last two I can take minus 7 common in that case 7 to the 14, 7 9 the 63, so we are left with twice x plus 9. Twice x plus 9 can be taken common, then we are left with twice x minus 7. So either twice x plus 9 equals to 0 or twice x minus 7 equals to 0. From here twice x will be minus 9, so x will be minus 9 by 2. And from this part twice x will be 7, minus 7 if it is transferred in the other side it will become plus 7, so x equals to 7 by 2. So required numbers are minus 9 by 2 or 7 by 2. Question number 2 is the sum of a number and this reciprocal is 341 by 80, we have to find the number. Like previous sum we can consider let the number be x. As given in the question, sum of a number and this reciprocal is 341 by 80. So it will be x plus 1 by x equals to 341 by 80. Here LCM will be x. x divided by 1 is x. x into x, x square plus x divided by x, 1, 1, 1, ja 1 equals to 3 into 80. It will be 240. 240 plus 41. It will be 281 by 80. Now if you cross multiply 18 to x square, 80 x square plus 18 to 1, 80 equals to 281 x. So if I transfer this 281 x in the other side, it will be 80 x square minus 281 x plus 80 equals to 0. So we got one quadratic equation which can be solved either by quadratic formula or by middle term factorization. Here I am using middle term factorization. Here 18 to 80, it will be 6400. Since it is positive number, that means we need two numbers whose sum should be 281 and product should be 6400. So if you prime factorize, then you are going to get 256 and 25 are the numbers. If you add these two, then it will be 281. And if you multiply, then you are going to get 6400. 
but sometimes to get this number becomes difficult in that case you can go for quadratic formula now 80x square minus 256x plus minus minus 25x plus 80 equals to 0 from first to I can take 16x common if 16 is taken common then 5 is left so 516 80 x into x x square minus 16 16 to 256 so if i take 16 x common from this it will be 16 minus from last two i can take 5 common then it will be 5x minus 16 just check 16 x into 5 x 80 x square 16 x into minus 16 it will be minus 256 x minus 5 5 to 25 x minus minus plus 5 16 to 80 equals to 0 if I take 5x minus 16 common, then we are left with 16x minus 5. So either 5x minus 16 equals to 0 or 16x minus 5 equals to 0. 5x equals to 16, x equal to 16 by 5. 16x equals to 5, so x equal to 5 by 16. Therefore, required number is either 16 by 5 or 5 by 16. This is the required answer. Question number 3 it is given. Find two consecutive natural numbers whose squares have the sum 85 as given in the question there are two consecutive natural numbers so if you consider one number to be x then another one will be x plus 1 so we can write let the consecutive natural numbers be x and x plus 1 as given in the question sum of the squares of two consecutive natural numbers is 85 so x square plus x plus 1 whole square it will be 85 so x square plus here a plus b whole square it can be written as s square plus twice a b plus b square equals to 85 x square plus x square 2 x square plus twice x plus 1 minus 85 equals to 0 2 x square plus twice x plus 1 minus 85 it will be minus 84 equals to 0 from these three i can take two common then it will be x square plus x minus 42 equals to 0 these two if I transfer in the other side it will become 0 so quadratic equation that we are going to get is x square plus x minus 42 equals to 0 1 into minus 42 it will be minus 42 and since it is negative we need two numbers whose difference should be 1 and we know 6 7 ja 42 so instead of 1 we can write 7 minus 6 so it will be x square plus 7 minus 6 into x minus 42 now x square plus 7 into x 7x plus minus minus 6x minus 42 equals to 0. From first to x common x plus 7. From last to minus 6 common x plus 7 equals to 0. So if I take x plus 7 common we are left with x minus 6. So x plus 7 into x minus 6 equals to 0. Either x plus 7 equals to 0 or x minus 6 equals to 0. If x plus 7 is 0, that means x equal to minus 7. Since it is negative, it is rejected. As in the question it is given, they are consecutive natural numbers and minus 7 is not a natural number. So from here we got x equal to 6. Therefore, consecutive numbers are 6 and 7. In question number 4 it is given, find two consecutive natural numbers whose product is 20. Here you can consider Suppose x and x plus 1, these are the consecutive natural numbers. Now in the question it is given, product of these two consecutive numbers is 20. So x into x plus 1 will be 20. x into x, x square plus x into 1, x equals to 20. x square plus x minus 20 equals to 0. Now 1 into minus 20, it is minus 20. Since it is negative, so we need two numbers whose difference should be 1 and we know 4 into 5 is 20 so instead of 1 we can write 5 minus 4 so x square plus instead of 1x we can write 5x minus 4x minus 20 equals to 0 from first to x common x plus 5 from last two I can take minus 4 common it will be x plus 5 equals to 0 so if I take x plus 5 common it will be x plus 5 into x minus 4 equals to 0 so either x plus 5 equals to 0 or x minus 4 equals to 0 from here x will be minus 5 but it is rejected because minus 5 is not a natural number so from this part we got x equal to 4 therefore numbers are x and x plus 1 
so x is 4 and x plus 1 will be 4 plus 1 5 so required natural numbers are 4 and 5 in question number 5 it is given find two consecutive even integers whose squares have the sum 340 as given in the question they are consecutive even integers so they are multiples of 2 so we can consider numbers to be twice x and twice x plus 2 now in the question it is given sum of the squares of two consecutive even integers is 340 so twice x square plus twice x plus 2 whole square equals to 340 twice x square is 4x square plus here a plus b whole square a square plus twice a b plus b square equal to 340 so here it is 4x square here also it is 4x square 2 to the 4 4 to the 8x plus 2 square is 4 equal to 340 4x square plus 4x square it will be 8x square plus 8x plus 4 minus 340 equals to 0 so 8x square plus 8x minus 336 equals to 0 from these 3 I can take 8 common it will be x square plus x minus 42 equals to 0 so x square plus x minus 42 equal to 0 is the required quadratic equation this 8 if I transfer in the other side it will become 0 if we multiply the coefficient of x square with the constant term then 1 into minus 42 will give minus 42 which is negative so we need two numbers whose difference should be 1 and product should be 42 so instead of 1x we can write 7x minus 6x so x square plus instead of 1x we are writing 7x minus 6x minus 42 equals to 0 from first to x common x plus 7 from last to minus 6 common x plus 7 equals to 0 again x plus 7 can be taken common so it will be x plus 7 into x minus 6 equals to 0 either x plus 7 equals to 0 or x minus 6 equals to 0 x equals to minus 7 x equal to 6 as in the question it is given consecutive even integers since we got x equal to minus 7 so it is rejected so we are considering x equal to 6 we considered two consecutive even integers as twice x and twice x plus 2 and we got x equal to 6 so it will be 2 into 6 12 and second one will be 2 into 6 plus 2 6 to the 12 12 plus 2 14 so required even integers are 12 and 14 in question number 6 it is given sum of two numbers is 16 the sum of the reciprocals is 1 by 3 find the numbers we can consider let the numbers be x and y as given in the question sum of the numbers is 16 so x plus y 16 so y will be 16 minus x let it be equation number 1 again it is given the sum of the reciprocals is 1 by 3 so we can consider 1 by x plus 1 by y is 1 by 3 so 1 by x plus y is 16 minus x so instead of y we can write 16 minus x equals to 1 by 3 here LCM will be x into 16 minus x this LCM divided by x it will be 16 minus x plus this LCM divided by 16 minus x it will be x equals to 1 by 3 plus x and minus x can be cancelled so we are left with 16 x into 16 16 x x into x x square equals to 1 by 3 now if I cross multiply 16 x minus x square into 1 it will be 16x minus x square equals to 3 into 16 48 now if I transfer 48 in the other side minus x square plus 16x minus 48 equals to 0 now I am multiplying the full equation by minus 1 then it will become plus this will become minus this will become plus equals to 0 now 1 into 48 it will be 48 since it is positive we need two numbers whose sum should be 16 and we know 12 and 4 if I add it will be 16 12 and 4 if I multiply it will be 48 so instead of 16 we can write 12 plus 4 so required equation will be x square minus 12 plus 4 x plus 48 equals to 0 x square minus 12 x plus minus minus 4 x plus 48 equals to 0 from first two I have taken x common x minus 12 from last 2 minus 4 can be taken common it will be x minus 12 equals to 0 so x minus 12 x minus 4 equals to 0 either x minus 12 equal to 0 or x minus 4 equals to 0 from here x will be 12 
and from here x equals to 4. From equation number 1, we know y equal to 16 minus x. So if x equal to 12, then y equal to 16 minus 12, that will be 4. So numbers will be 4 and 12. Again, if I consider x equals to 4, then y equals to 16 minus 4, which will be 12. So in both the cases, we are going to get 4 and 12 as the numbers. Therefore, required numbers are 4 and 12. I hope this sum is clear. So that's all for today. In the next video, I'm going to start from number 7 of 4G. Till then, bye-bye, take care and wait for the next part.